This is the Red All Over Show with me, Joe Beardsall, Josh Atherton, Andy Simcox. So we brought Dylan in from Fulham Focus for the opposition view or away end or whatever you want to call this show, where we get an opposition fan. And we've done it nice and early in the week because we're expecting there might be a new manager in at some point this week, or at least we hope so. So we might have something else to talk about later this week. So we've got Dylan in nice and early. Uh, Dylan, you must be quite an happy chap at the minute, mate. Fulham doing all right, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, we've done all right. I mean... It's probably some of the best form we've been in that I've seen from us, really. Um, unbeaten in the last, well, since the international break, actually, we've won every single game. Uh, haven't conceded since October the 16th, and even then that was only one in a 4-1 win. So, can't ask for much more, really. Mitrovic as well, bang in form, 20-17 in 17 so far, and scored a last-minute winner to send Serbia to the World Cup last night. And Ronaldo in tears. Lovely stuff. <laughs> no, you might get that in. <laughs> Josh, how scared are you on a, a scale of zero to ten? Because you've been pretty scared during most of these opposition view shows, but now we're coming up against Fulham. I'm coming up against probably the best player in the league as well in in Mitch Richard Dylan just says in former his life, which is excellent news for us. And then you you've just paired that with quality of their team, and oh, it's it's going to be a cricket score, isn't it? It's going to be a cricket score. I think if he get if it, if we win four 0 on Saturday and he scores all four, he'll have scored double the amount of goals that you have this season, and that's just one player. Oh man, you've definitely come in with stats to hurt us even more, <laughs> there, mate. Thanks for that. Uh, <laughs> we thought you'd just turn up and have a little chat, not whacking uh, out stats and hurting us. I had a little look earlier. <laughs> oh, Norris! Don't get, don't get too clever. Don't get too clever <laughs> and stick, and stick the boat in too much. Oh, you know, no, it's, this it, is exactly the sort of game. This is exactly the sort of game we'll lose. That's, Listen, that is in, our, in our last six away matches, I'll have you know, in our last six away matches, we've drawn one. We've oh. lost rest, but we've drawn one. We've scored a, we've scored a couple of goals. So don't, don't give me this Mitrovic business. <laughs> don't, don't give me all that. I, I, well, I, I, we've won Tell both our job. last two away games, and one of them was 7-0, so... Aye. Swings around oh, to our, yeah. To, yeah, to our old friends, our, our old friends Blackburn, weren't it? They, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we have a lot to do with Blackburn. We're Ryan, Ryan Hildred and Silent Dan from Blackburn, and uh, I, I don't think they were chuffed. I think it's better <laughs> to say they weren't. I think they were a bit shell shocked by it all. Yeah, so, I was a bit yeah, shocked by it. Yeah. So I can't imagine how they were feeling. I Sometimes don't, everything just... you do goes in. Yeah, I just don't know. Like, I'd love to come on and make a defence for us here, but it's quite difficult, Dylan, to be honest, at the minute, to, to see how we are going to win this game. By the way, hit the like button and subscribe if you've not already. Um, who's your star men? Obviously, Mitrovic, we know about that. We know he's too good for the championship, let's be honest, from off. But who else has, 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 has turned up for you and, and to maybe surprised you this season or, you know, doing all right that you didn't maybe fully expect? Um, well, Marek Rodak, he's goalkeeper, just came back into the team following the international break just before we lost 4-1 away to Coventry. And it was with uh, Paolo Casaniga in goal. But Marek Rodak's come back in and he's only let the one goal in since he's been back in the team. And it's really good to see him doing well. I mean, I do feel a bit bad for him. He was sort of our mainstay goalkeeper for our last promotion season. And then he was on the bench the whole of last season. And then here he is, probably, he knows that if, if we go up again, he'll probably get benched again. But uh, no, he's been really good. Harry Wilson, uh, summer signing from Liverpool. Uh, quite a lot of money there. I think that was quite well documented. But uh, yeah, he's he's proving to be quite the creative outlet, which is always good. Uh, and then John Michael Serry, who was someone we signed in 2018, linked with sort of Arsenal, Barcelona, I think at the time. And then he never really hit it off until now. Just been amazing in the heart midfield. And he's another one that looks sort of too good for this league. But yeah, they'd be my sort of three standout players, other than Mitrovic, obviously. But the whole Wilson, team is performing quite well. Wilson looks an excellent player. I mean, the, the the only thing I said to you, we don't concede many goals down our flanks, so mm. <laughs> I'm lulling him. I'm lulling him. D Dylan, don't believe a word I'm saying. I'm lulling him, Josh. Lulling him. Yeah, we concede every goal down our flanks. I'll tell you that. that every goal, not some goals, every flipping goal. So, you know. We'll see, won't we? Don't, don't get too cocky, though. You know, it's, it's all right to be no, sat no, back and laid back and all yeah. cocky. It's football. It's, it's 11 yeah, against this 11. Is, yeah, this is exactly the sort of game that it we is. would lose. I wouldn't be surprised at all if we sort of came away having lost 1-0 or only drawn, given the sort of run of form we're on. When uh, Barnsley and Derby come, yeah, it would be exactly the sort of games that we would lose. I would not be surprised at all. 
I won't really uh, say uh, it's uh, a bogey side for you, Barnsley, is it? But we did obviously that's <laughs> weird. It was that weird season, weren't there, where we we beat you both times, just chatting off. Obviously, first game of the season that we hung us at on Andy for pretty much most of that season because mm. we didn't win yes. for about sixteen after that. Yeah, no, I um, I remember the first game of the season. I thought we'd we'd easily win, but then obviously that was was that was that Luke Thomas. George Thomas. Yeah, Luke, Luke Thomas and Malik Wilkes taking yeah. an hour to get off pitch by applauding every every fan individually <laughs> as he came off. I remember, I remember, I remember seeing that bit of everyone talking about that after the game, saying he took about five minutes to come off. Um, but yeah, and then obviously we played you again. I think in sort of February time, just before the pandemic, uh, and yeah, lost three 0 which was uh, a dark day. I seem to remember. But yeah, it really, it really wouldn't surprise me if the sort of run of form came came to an end here because. Obviously, the last set of wins have just been in between the, the two international breaks. We lost the game going into the international break, and we've won all the games since then. But it just wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if we sort of went on a bit of a, a bit of not a not a bad run, but sort of we we dropped a few points here and there now because I guess once we got on that win, winning run, the worst thing for it to do is have two weeks off. And that being said, Peterborough was probably the poorest performance of the sort of lot. And that was just the game before, so maybe the players were sort of running out of steam a little bit. But uh, yeah, you never know. If it makes you feel any better. We played Hull just over a week ago, and Malik Wilkes were playing for Hull, and he took a lifetime gain off the pitch yeah. then as well when he was. Yeah, say thank you to every yeah. fan in the stadium then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you should. I think you should. You should. Mitrovic could do we arrest, couldn't he? He's just coming back from you know and all that. It could do we arrest. I won't, yeah, I won't we bother. do have other players on the payroll, so it yeah. would be good for them to get a run out. Yeah, I know. The problem is, Andy, they're probably not far behind him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean Mitrovic is the standout player, but to be fair, we do have the whole squad seems to be sort of firing at the moment. And then yeah. How confident are you, Dylan, at this point? I mean, you must be fairly confident, second in league. Is it a bit weird though that Scott Park is obviously, you know, at- we're Bournemouth now, top it's, of the league. It's it is weird. Actually. There is sort of that sort of thing. Sort of like, oh, we're second in the league, six points clear of third. But the one guy who is above us is the manager we just got rid of at the end of last season. But I mean, the football this season has been so different to what it was under Scott Parker. It's so much more free-flowing and a bit more exciting to watch. Uh, I think I'd sacrifice those few points gap between us and Bournemouth for the sort of difference in styles. It's definitely a lot, a lot easier to watch. Flipping it, Dylan. You're second in the table, and your your ex managers now top of the table. I feel for you. I really feel it must be gutting for you. Dear me, yeah, there's it's no way to live. There's no way. To We're live. second bottom, and our ex managers third at table. So try being us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't oh. feel mate. Good, trust me, mate. Ah, oh. who's uh, Andy? Do you want to ask him who's tumbled down, Teddy's? And well, explain I that. Any, I think there's any number of them. Tumble, tumble down, Ted Dylan. We've got a, we've got a, a bit of a mascot for the show called, well, Tumble Down Ted, and he, op- he often, he sometimes plays for us as well. But he often mm-hmm. plays for the opposition, and what, what he is, is the sort of player that if you go in the, that you can't knock him off the ball for loving the money unless he's in the box or just outside the box. Then he, he goes down, he tumbles down like he's been hit by a sniper's bullet. So. A couple of weeks ago, our ex, now our ex manager Marcus shot where our tumble down Ted because he went he went down on the touchline, he fell over on the touchline. So I just wondered who, you, who are we likely to watch for? Because there's been a few knocking about. Who's likely? To, who are we likely to watch for from your team? That if they get in the box, down he's gonna go. Um, in terms of a tumble down Ted, I think Miskins Cabano. He's he's a strong boy. Quite small, low centre of gravity, but as soon as he gets in the box, I I could see him being one of those players that swaps his football boots for ice skates. Um, <laughs> Tim Forrest away the other week. Dennis Adoy won us a penalty, but that was that was sort of just everyone was in the box from a corner, and he was the one that got fouled. But yeah, my uh, my my pick would be Niskan Skibano. I think. Uh, I'm not saying we're going to get a penalty at the weekend, but I think I think he'd be in and around it if we did. He'd be somehow involved. But a great player. But, uh, we don't wonder, you don't have to worry about any of uh, any our players being a tumble down, Ted, because they're all young. They don't le- they don't learn that bit yet. Yeah. It's against a box first. Yeah, Corley, Corley Woodrow probably <laughs> learned something. That's a good to be in box. Yeah, you have to get more than one player in box at any one time, aren't we, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> so maybe Corley Woodrow might have learned something. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, it's I mean, been, it's been it's a few years. It's not been playing well, to be honest. It's not been playing well. He's been struggling a bit, hasn't he, at the minute? Um, but I think, to be fair, he has had a lot of stick as well from quite a, quite a bit of fan base yeah. um, currently. I felt a bit sorry for him, to be honest. But it's been a, quite a few years since he were at your, your place. But you always rate him when you were when you were a young lad? Yeah, he was one of those ones that was sort of always on the fringes. And I thought, I thought he deserved another chance when we came down to the championship, obviously. The management team had other ideas. But he always seemed... Like he was going to be quite good. I still, I'd still say he can be quite good if he realizes his potential. But uh, yeah, I was looking, I was looking the other day at sort of some of the stats from this season. I think the last goal he scored was against Nottingham Forest or something. Uh, that's obviously a while ago. But uh, yeah, no, I'm sure he will come good eventually. He's, a, I'd say, he's a natural finisher. I haven't seen much of him this season, but uh, I, I hope, I hope for your sake that there's good things to come from him. The problem, the problem is Dylan is that he's a is a striker for me. He's a striker that plays off a off a target player. What we've been doing is playing the front three, and they've all been wide apart from each other. And he's often been the central striker, the target yeah, man. Yeah, a bit isolated. And he ain't a target man. He, he just no. isn't one. And it's 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 so such a shame at using him in a position or in a, in a way that um, doesn't bring out the best in him. We yeah. we saw the very best of him when he was with Kiefer Moore. Um, and he, he he could score for at that time. He could score for fun. All he needs is a tall striker to play alongside him, and he yeah, can, he can yeah. poach goals. So no, I think yeah, more. definitely in the right system. He's he's a good player. Yeah, yeah there's that. Yeah. And I think I think other thing is is like we had quite a lot of injuries up top at early in season. So Andy's been given the captaincy. So there's that extra pressure of the captaincy plus mm-hmm. you know not having players around you who are scoring for fun. I mean, last season we had Daryl DK. We had. Cattle Morris, who was fit at the time, both scoring as well. So it's a bit easier for him, whereas there's been a lot on his shoulders this season. I don't think that's helped. Uh, but he will come good because he's a good player. I think he's just, you know, just going to take a bit of time. Um, come on then, we'll put you on spot, Dylan, to finish. You can tell us a bit about, um, firstly, a bit about your channel, uh, what you guys do at Full and Focus, so we can get a little plug. And then we want to put you on spot to finish and, and get your scoreline. You can be as brutal as you like. <laughs> you might get sick in comments, um... but you're not from us. <laughs> um perfect so i i'm sort of i don't i don't know the best way to describe it i sort of work not work for but i work for fulham focus so it's obviously fulham related we got um sort of match reactions match previews sort of in more in-depth articles occasionally we had one the other week that came out just sort of about the academy situation I don't know, with fabio carvalho if you know him uh, he looks like he's off in january so a sort of piece around that and obviously separate to that we've got the podcast which sort of goes out preview and then a review of each game and then someone's in between so we had a a quiz last international break and sort of one looking at the season so far just recently but yeah uh, it's a group of really good guys all really nice people and yeah sort of similar to what goes on here I believe we don't do the sort of YouTube side of things yet but maybe that's to come you never know well we don't Uh, do a quiz but I'm fancying that Andy what do you reckon pull quiz you're not going to even right though You've, you've no chance of getting any of them right. Let him talk. You're, you're interrupting. I fancy that. Go on, go on, Dylan. Ignore him. Uh, <laughs> well, if, if you want someone to come last in your pub quiz, I could be a man because I, I profess to know very little about Barnsley. Um, but yeah, in terms of a score prediction, I'll go for I'll go for two 0 I'll be nice. Um, I think yeah, I think we'll win. I'm going to back us. Um, but yeah, two 0 two 0 for me. Mitrovic, Mitrovic one, Wilson with the other. I think that's fairly generous, gents. Well, I think we'll have to take the lunch in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, uh, thanks for being, uh, coming on, Dylan. And Reds, we will let you know later this week uh, what we think to Fulham and the preview and what our score predictions are. But make sure you get yours in when we do our preview show later this week. Um, so, yeah, cheers, mate. Catch you later. Perfect. No worries. A pleasure.